Marty, congratulations on the clean sweep this weekend. What were your key factors uh, behind the under 16s, 18s, reserves, and league team successes? Uh, it's always, I guess, that team philosophy and club philosophy. We've got um, you know, development of our junior program and um, the programs that the under 18s and 16s run, I think, now is a, is a really elite program as well. So helps with development of our junior programs, but we can also see that with our reserves and league that we have a lot of players coming through. Um, and we had a lot of, we had a couple of uh, 18s come up and play reserves the last few weeks as well. And to be able to still um, perform and play their roles as they move up the grades has been really important as well. And I think that philosophy we have over the whole club is really important. What were your main takeaways from the league's performance this weekend? Uh, oh, I thought our, I thought our defence and our contest stuff was really good. It was it was quite wet, um, and the ball was pretty slippery early. And I thought our, our defence. I mean, we only gave up seven scores on the weekend, and Westy's only kicked three goals. So um, I thought, yeah, I thought our midfield and, co and contest stuff was was really elite. I thought our midfield, um, led by Battersby, Snelling. Uh, Lewis, but also you throw in with Rhianne Anderson in late and Tealy and a few other guys as well. Um, our midfield depth was really noticeable on the weekend as well, and um, that helps in terms of not, I guess, giving West Adler the opportunity to get in their forward line. So just on the wet weather conditions over the past week, um, how do you feel the Ovals respond to that? Um, is that something that you think really had an effect on the weekend's game? Yeah, the Oval. I mean, the Oval's in good condition, um, other than the Cricket pitch was a little bit muddy, um, but we did some things on the weekend. We've got covers now to cover that. Um, we moved the circle as well, which I think has a massive effect on the game. Um, you know, we were able to still kick 10, 11 goals on the weekend in both the league and the reserves and that sort of stuff. So uh, the other positives we're able to train. We're able to train on the oval and we, we haven't had to you know, miss or modify trainings because of the surface and things like that. Um, all our grades are still training here at the Unley Oval, which is great as well, I think. Um, but yeah, we're really excited about, I guess, our next, we've got a lot of home games in the second half of the year. We're really excited about the Oval being in great condition and being able to play those games and, and still be able to, I guess, play the footy we want to play. I guess it's only really been a few months since the service has been done. They tell us it'll take about 18 months to really settle, but uh, when you've got Ovals like Adelaide Oval still holding a lot of water yep. since day night, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, no, it was, and um, it was it was surprising how I think much rain we did have over Friday and Saturday as well. But how quickly you know it, it's bounced back, and um, how quickly it's dried out. Um, and we got no other than I said the cricket pitch. The rest of the oval was in in great condition, and I said allows us to train and um, and run our programs here, which is great. Can you give us an injury update, uh, particularly concerning those key players? Yeah, we got a. I guess we got a. Long injury list, um, and we got a couple key players, I guess, in that in that list. Um, Amos Doyle had surgery on his finger; he's tracking really well, um, but he'll be towards the latter part of the of the mine round season. Um, somewhere, sort of after that, buy will sort of get an indication of him over the next couple of weeks about an ideal return for that. Um, and then we've probably got a couple of injuries on the weekend, which weren't ideal in terms of hamstrings. So that was Flynn Prez and Chad Reschke. So we'll get them assessed early this week and then we'll, we'll see where, what their programs and what their, I guess, outs, how long they're out for looks like. Um, Will Spain, concussion last week. So he'll probably miss one more, I think. And then we should get him back. Um, and then we've just got, yeah, a lot of other, I guess, a couple ankles and a couple other injuries as well. Um, it's a, it's a growing list, but um, we are slowly getting some players back over the next probably two weeks um, to three weeks. And uh, so hopefully sort of come by, um, we've got three more games after that, we get a lot of players back around them. On that, as we head into the second half of the season, are there any uh, plan changes to your training regime? Uh, there's probably no changes to, I guess, what we do in training. Um, we normally, this time of year, we do try and get to AFL Max, which we've booked in two sessions, which is always quite nice when it is raining and cold outside to get to AFL Max. The, the guys really enjoy that as well. But probably in terms of, um, you know, what we do in training, won't change much. Um, it will change a little bit week to week, depending on the opposition. Um, and, and I guess what we're sort of planning coming up. But yeah, we've got another little buy in about four weeks time, which will be nice as well. 
which is always a little good change as well. But yeah, it's sort of week to week proposition at the moment. Yep. Uh, oh, it's 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 a great achievement. Where it's um, it's not very often to get two in a year, um, but yeah, we got two players that will play their two hundredth game, and Paige has been one of those guys who's a uh, real leader of the footy club. Um, you know, loved by everyone, respected by everyone as well. I think is is a big one as well, um, and yeah, really important part of. I guess the culture we're trying to build and the group of players we've got at the moment and really, really great leader of this footy club and, and the group as well. So, um, yeah, it's a great achievement um, and uh, look forward to uh, another win and hopefully we can celebrate with him after.